seals are good, air pressure good, and we're docked. Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. must be valuable to have warranted such an elaborate mining operation. Dangerously low temperature. Keep an eye on your vitals.
Best sir. Best not to leave anything useful behind. No matter how complex, robot behavior is programmed and therefore predictable. I find that spending time in a geode in space was not on my to-do list today, but it is very impressive. Cowards.
failure. Did they have anything of value? what we were hired to do. The pay was good, too. But the best part was getting to stick it to the people who turned their backs on us. <laughs> I can't wait until you find out. Of course it is! We spent 20 years behind bars because our leaders got scared and called off our attack just when we had the battle won. And did the people of the Free Star Collective that we fought and died for come to our defense? No. They did nothing. Nothing! Ah. Well, now they can die. Just like most of our unit did. Fine. I ain't feeling conversational anyway. Yeah. We've got a base, a good one, too. Spend months of my life getting that place up and running. As for where it is, <laughs> you're going to have to figure that out on your own. You might not think so now, but it's likely to end up that way. <sighs> How about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live, and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. <sighs> I've been abused or abandoned by everyone I ever got close to. Gave up on people and put my faith in machines instead. It wasn't until I came to the First Cavalry and met Major Hull that I felt I could trust someone again. Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you'll learn something useful. Now get out of here and leave me in peace.
Looks like it is worth bringing along. Council of Governors. Sure, the abilities are truly amazing. Work hard, play hard. That should be the three star model. Not everyone gets to say anything. Hey there, deputy. The way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. I'll see what I can do. If you can get me another one of these, it'll give me more context for the encryption and should speed things up. In the meantime, you be careful out there, deputy. From what I've heard, these mercs mean business. says I specialize in cryptography a lot of smugglers you
Let us see what wonders of life this planet okay, hosts. Captain. Person who's interested in small talk? The foreman's gonna be pissed if they see you wandering around the site. I got work to do. This cargo's not gonna hold itself. I don't know why everyone's so down on this job. I'm gonna do the foreman's job. This seems like a piece of cake. I can't talk. The foreman's watching. Nothing wakes you up in the morning like the sound of heavy machinery.
you're not on a payroll, then keep moving. We're not supposed to have visitors at the site. Sure. You can get the hell off my site. We're on a tight deadline here, and we don't need any distractions. Time to get back to it. I think I could do quite well on the Red Mile. I think together, the two of us could do very well. Upper guy just for wanting to take a little break. Just want this day to be over already. Hey, you're the captain of that ship. Is your registration paperwork in order? Who's asking? The starport master of Red Mile is who? Think that'd be obvious, given what I just asked you. Fine. Truth is, I don't really give a damn. I gotta ask, because it's my job, you know? And don't get me wrong. I used to care about running a tight operation. Had everything going nice and smooth. But when May started building this place up and hired those mercs, well, everything went straight to hell. I voiced my displeasure, and now I'm on the outs. Yep, she took over a little while ago. Drove out all the regulars because they didn't fit in with her new vision for the place. Now, I'm not saying they were saints, but at least there was some respect for the people whose blood and sweat makes this place work, you know? You'll find her inside. Whatever you're here for, she's probably the one you want to talk to first. May security. Bunch of wannabe soldier assholes is more like it. Call themselves ecliptic. They think there's some sort of uh, elite paramilitary unit. I'll tell you what they really are. They're nothing but punks with guns and get off on pushing people around. I get the need for having some security out of here. We're independent. That ain't lost on me. But these guys are the worst of the worst. More trouble than they're worth, you know? And not by a little. Sure has. May, she's got these big ideas about making this place some kind of must-see attraction for the whole settled systems. 
You'd think she'd care a little bit more about the quality of the damn starport. Anyway, I'm sure you're already sick of my bitching. If you need parts for that ship, or a top-up on the grab drive fuel, that's me. We've got some. Take a look. See ya. I think that might be Donovan Reese. I dislike him intensely. But the mile usually wins. Wind's really trying to turn this place around. Sorry, friend. I don't do on the Listen, friend. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm trying to relax and you people won't give me a moment's peace. I tell you what. If you want a conversation with me, it'll cost you. Bring me a runner's rush from the bar, and then we can talk. Deal? Do you now? How about you stop pulling my plonker and come back when you've got what I've asked for? Hmm? I keep thinking I should run the course someday, but I have to see some of the deaths first. Maybe I. I hear May's always looking for new and returning runners for the Red Mile. Happy to serve you, as long as you respect May's rules. It can get rowdy in here sometimes, but... Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. The marshal's report didn't mention you had hearing problems. Are you, or are you not, the new deputy? My problem is that I don't want to be saddled with a rookie deputy. That is who you are, right? We'll find out, won't we? Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. This is a wonderful beginning to an assignment. Because I've trained new recruits before, and it's not an experience I want to repeat. I hope so. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. She won't be staying long, so I don't have time to brief you. You'll find out everything you need to know when you meet with her. Follow me. Alone. Yeah, well, things changed. Take a seat. Who are you? Is 
Is that so? The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Hmm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation, and he started moving in on my territory. Because it might get a little awkward if my sister here had to arrest me. Well, thanks for the economics lesson, but I think I know my trade. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. She's the owner and manager here. Inherited the place when her husband was killed. May's the key to this whole thing, but I don't know her. Maybe try to get on her good side? Yeah, well, so can she. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. You serious? Damn. There's not many people who can say that. You have played your hand well, Jade. Using the Rangers to eliminate a rival. Very clever. From where I'm sitting, we're using each other. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die, will you? You're really going to take on the mile, huh? I'm glad to see you. Senior up. I can't wait for the next run. Hi, welcome to Red Mile. We've got clean rooms and neat drinks. Can I help you out with either of those? Or both? Ooh, what about both? Aside from the restaurant and hotel services, we offer full service starship maintenance and refueling. Just speak to our starport master, Lon Anderson. And don't mind him. He may be a lazy old fart, but when push comes to shove, he gets the job done. Oh, I saw this guy get full on eaten by one of the larger creatures we had out there one time. Just swallowed him up whole in one goal. Clearly he was a goner. Not five minutes later, after the bets were called and everyone was settling up, the guy bursts out of the thing's stomach and goes on to finish the course. You can imagine that was an interesting night. Just don't imagine what that guy smelled like after. Coming right up. Come and see me if you need anything else. Or maybe I'll see how they feel Ah, you again. Please tell me you've got a nice frosty runner's rush from the bar. My cup runneth empty. Oh. Ah, most kind. So, what brings you by? 
Afraid I'm right out of autographed pictures. See, I think you're all talk, May. Ha <laughs> ha. Did she now? Of course she did it. House gets a cut. She'd love to have someone like me back in there. Biggest bet on me was well over 10 million credits. I think May used the money to renovate the cantina and still have plenty left over. Just on house cuts alone. Well, you really haven't been around much, have you? I'm Donovan Reese. I, THE Donovan Reese. As in the gent that survived 28 red mile runs, including the third fastest on record. Impressive. <laughs> That's an understatement. We're talking a game of death and dismemberment. Most people don't survive one, let alone as many as I have. You can count on one hand the number of runners ever to pull that off, and only half of them are still alive. It's rare company you're in, to say the least. <laughs> don't go breaking my record for one. Other than that, don't hesitate. Ever. You hesitate. You spend too much time thinking things through. That's how you get yourself killed out there. I always say the best way to run the course is on pure instinct. You let that take over and drive you, chances are you'll win. Unless you already know your instincts are shite, in which case, don't run the course at all. Nah, just relish your challenge. I'd still be out there today if my knees and my back won't shot to hell. Besides, I'm retired these days. I think I've earned the chance to enjoy the fruits of my labors. Being famous has its benefits, after all. Cheers. <laughs> you wouldn't last a minute in the red bar. I never had the patience for computer systems. Someone's got a death wish. Make me bread or something.
help me chit chat with patrons. I'm on duty. Let's get the hell out Whether of here. Whether you're face. here to gamble, participate, or just watch, the Red Mile has entertainment for everyone. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? It's no small favor that you're asking. But yes, I can arrange such a meeting. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Marco. You from the Red Mile. Survive. Show me that you can do it again. I give you my word, which is something I never do lightly. As before, I'll collect wagers from our patrons who will bet on your survival. That's what every runner says. You definitely have at least a 50 50 chance. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
see a lot of beats or Congratulations, Ren. Once again, you've succeeded where most have failed. To challenge the mile more than once and live to tell the tale is rare indeed. Indeed you have, and in most impressive fashion. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. Go ahead. He starts in trouble. Give me an excuse to air you out. If you're looking to register... Barely able to fulfill my very lucrative contracts. You're back. Are you okay? This place was raided and plundered on a regular basis. Really? Either the Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated or you're just that good. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. Get the hell out of my feet. You're right. Let's focus on the job. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. Oh, go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. You must be tougher than you look. I considered placing a bet against you. But I did it. Well done! You going to try it again? I would. You'll be talking to the other side of my boat if you keep trying to start up a conversation. Time for me to keep my promise, Runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. He's intelligent, well-connected, and utterly ruthless. He's also a man of taste who appreciates the finer things. You'll find out soon enough what I mean. Only that someone wanted a meeting. Don't expect to catch him unprepared. He keeps a sizable force of mercenaries aboard his ship as bodyguards. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting. that you still got all your hey watch out you cause trouble and i will not hesitate to end you in any number of ways i see fit this ain't the united colonies cupcake here you listen to me i lead the security force because we have to deal with the dregs of society like you because may lets us handle things our way Best way to keep people in line is through fear. After you see your first head split open on the bar floor, you're gonna think twice about skipping out on your tab. Maybe you don't start that fight over your lost bet. You get it now? What do you think, moron? Money. May pays us well to keep the assholes out. I make sure my people pretty much get the run of the place. Free booze, free entertainment, you name it. And if anyone's got a problem with it, well, we've got ways of making people disappear. Call it whatever you want. We're ecliptic mercenaries, so I'd think twice about pissing us off, or else you may find yourself with nowhere to hide. All right, now get out of my face.